The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. <clears throat> okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Our guest today at the break will be Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Looking forward to listening to the Stan today at uh, 1130 when we come up to the break. We start out the day by looking at the FTSE. As you can see here, we have a lot of ABCD patterns everywhere. And hold on for a second. And... Uh, my mic sounds distorted. Well, I'm probably a distorted person here, so let me see if I can get this thing fixed. I'll try to get this thing done. Turn it a little bit differently here. A broadsword to Danny Boy. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Come in, Danny Boy. Much better. Aha, the old press the old button on the microphone trick works once again. You can see the lot of ABCD patterns. There are a lot of ABCD patterns everywhere, folks. This is why they work, because that's the basic underlying structure of the market, as per Benoit Mandelbrot. We're going to take a look here at the German DAX. You'll see these markets were under a great deal of pressure until about 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, well, actually, 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, New York time, 1 o'clock Tucson time, and that's when the markets uh, exploded to the upside with the news that Putin had surrendered to the Kiev people, and they had taken their little wooden uh, their little wooden rifles, and they were rioting or prancing in the street that they had defeated the big monster, and there were signs that said, bring it on, Putin. Boys and girls, <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, but that's the case. Anyway, people don't realize that there's a thing over there called the Black Sea, and there's 40 warships there, Russian warships and a nuclear submarine sitting there ready to blockade that uh, area of Odessa. So any any slight – what he's doing, folks, he's a master at manipulation. He's a former KGB captain. And, uh, you know, you just be really careful with these news things because what you hear and what is happening may, may not be the same thing. But, boy, when these things explode, they certainly do. There was a perfect reason for them to explode. explode. Yeah, Larry, try English. Here is the NASDAQ yesterday, folks. We had talked about this on the show yesterday. We were sitting right down there at that 78% level uh, coming spot on. And then you see here, this is an hourly chart. We had to move up tonight. Uh, well, you can see we went a little above the 382. We're trading uh, right at just a little above the 382 right now. It's been the weaker of all the indices, of course. The S&P's got all the way up to uh, 4465, I believe, and the Dow Jones being up a little over 400 points. Fact, I was surprised it's not up a thousand points, folks, given the fact that that news was so a relief to the market. I was really surprised. The market wasn't a lot stronger uh, than it actually was. But let's get down to a couple of these things that we're watching very, very closely. First of all, one of the things that we watch closely, of course, is the gold market. And I happened to be on the air last night with Australia. And just as this was happening, it was in the morning over there, doing a quick little radio show for them and uh, a little cameo appearance. And I was pointing out this ABCD pattern at 1882. Uh, that was, uh, it, it was about, it was real early in the morning, folks. I think it was, uh, oh dear, uh, 1030 in the morning over there. It was about 830 here in the evening. And uh, it was setting there at 882. We were on the air and I said, this should give pretty strong resistance because of the ABCD, because the BC swing was 382. I said, so your measurement takes you right up to that level. So if you believe in ABCDs, I mean, your risk here is very small. You wouldn't have to put your stop more than, you know, 1885. And before I could say 1885, it was trading at 1870. I mean, it dropped $12 like it didn't even exist. And, of course, it went down and broke uh, rapidly. Now, all I'm doing when I'm looking at these, I'm looking at support and resistance and looking at the patterns. And that's all I'm basically doing, folks. I'm not factoring in Odessa or anything else. I'm just looking at these patterns. That's basically all I'm trying to do. But look what happened 
Well, I'll do crude oil next, but look what happened. I, I talk about this a lot. You know, you folks don't pay too much attention to it, but, you know, here's a, here's an interesting one. This was the gold last night, folks. You see where we made the high up there at 80, 82? We dropped uh, 47 handles all the way down to 1845. We rally up to the exact 382 to the tick, folks. It didn't go one tick higher than 1859. And then look at crude oil. Not one tick higher that 83.29, it's 83.28, that was the high, 83.28, and it's broken $2 from there. I mean, you know, these things are really good. You know, they just don't work all the time, and therein lies the problem, folks. Everybody's looking for something that's 100%, and boy, 100% is a real tough one to to, to lay it out. I mean, it, it really is. It's just very, very difficult. Now, let's do the same thing. Uh, and I did these. I did these in the video. That's what I do each night. I try to point out things that sh may or may not be important at all. And if you take a look here, uh, this is a video that we sent out last night, uh, early, before the break, of course. But uh, the uh, this, the 1.618 expansion on that move was 95.66. The high was 95.72. And now we're trading below, way below uh we're way below 91. We're in the 90s now, maybe lower than that because I haven't seen prices uh, recently. So this is a pretty big deal. You know, what, what Putin has done here is he's relieved the pressure off the pressure cooker. But believe me, folks, he's a master statistician. You know, he remember yesterday I told you about Lazarov saying it was like you're looking in the eyes of Don Corleone. Well, let me tell you, he's a pretty sharp guy. So before you, uh, you know, wave out the surrender banners for the you, the Rushkis, you better be very, very careful because it has a tendency to come back. And uh, he's a pretty adept uh, stat, you know, mathematician, and he's very, very bright. He ran the KGB for many years uh, before he was made king of Russia. So that's one that we want to be uh, keeping a very close eye on. And speaking of 382, look at the one yesterday that we had on Valentine's Day. This is one we had on hogs. Look at this. We have a break from 107 down to 101 in hogs. We rally up exactly to the 103 level. I haven't checked them today, but odds favor that they're probably below that uh, 101 level. Can someone update me where the hogs are trading this morning? I'd just like to see if that uh, hog uh, 382 held because it certainly had all the aspects going for it, just like the gold did and also the uh, euro. Uh, let's not try euro. Let's try the gold and the crude oil, both of those. Uh, the... Uh, Last on the uh, crude oil, uh, last on the live hogs, please. Someone give me that if you'd be so kind. Uh, 104. Okay, so it went right back up to that same level again. Okay, now let's move on here to talk just a tiny bit about Nike. Mr. Bo here in the den was asking about that yesterday as a possible buy. And uh, I'm just doing it this morning, of course. You can see we had a big gap up. Uh, we were trading at 140 and change. We gapped up to. Uh, 105 you know that was you can see here that it hit the 1.618 level on the 24th the 30th of january and again on the uh, 13th and 14th not the 13th but the 12th let's try it again later the 11th and the 14th of uh, february we'll be right back folks 877-927-6648 You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, someone, uh, hold on here a second here. Someone's asking a question. Uh, okay, here, here is the chart. I want to get this up here. This is the chart of uh, Peter Elides from uh, 1987. Uh, he was saying, you notice where it says FM right there. That means uh, that's the full moon, and that's where it should start down from. That's tomorrow, folks. The 16th is where it should start down. Whether it does or not, I don't know, but that was the whole premise of the 1929 uh, thing and also the uh, forecast and also the 1987 forecast and also what we're looking at here. There's no question that we made some type of top here last Thursday up there at 45, whatever it was, in the S&P. And now we backed off and now we're maybe going to challenge that and even go ahead. If we go above that, that would certainly... This, uh, it would make this a, uh, a very high improbability that you're going to have much more of a correction. We maybe go up into new high ground, but until that happens, you have to assume that this is correct. We're just having a very strong emotional – in fact, is I'm not surprised that the, the Dow's not up eight, 900 points. You know, back when it was a bull market, it used to do that easily, but the fact that it's only up four or 500 points to me is rather surprising. But, you know, I was expecting a rally, but I was expecting more of a rally than this. Maybe we'll get it by the end of the day, but uh, that's that's what I'm watching as I as I look at these things. So uh, there's nothing more than that. Uh, as far as my relationship with Peter, I've known Peter for a long, long time. Back in 1965 is when we first met. I'm going to that. That's what, 47 years I've known him? Well, 57 years, shut the front door and raise the No, 47. 47 years. So that's, uh, you know, quite a long time. And he's a stand-up guy. He's as humble as ever. No one's done any more stock market work, given his years in this business and stuff, than Peter. He really... He really has done his work. So I'm looking at the same type of thing. I'm looking at the things based on, you know, Fibonacci numbers. He uses a little bit of Fibonacci, but he does a lot of cycle call, you know, time cycle stuff that he does on his own. And his work has been published, and it's uh, it's very good. Is it right all the time? No, it's not right all the time. Nobody's right all the time. You know, so we got we got to keep that in mind. Main thing is that, you know, we were expecting a rally to come in here, folks. Yesterday, we had a beautiful Gartley pattern at the 786 in the nasdaq sitting right there 
you know, and boom, what we do, we rallied over well over 300 points in the NASDAQ uh, today. And uh, so that that's basically the bottom line. How much do we rally from here? No one knows that. But if we if we continue rallying today and the Dow's up eight, nine hundred points, that's going to put a big dent in whether the whether we're going to see a move to the downside. But by the same token, if something happens that, uh, you know, one of those plastic bullets over there goes off or something, you know, we might see a might see another correction. These markets are very jumpy, folks. The volatility that we're seeing here is tremendous, and it's going to get more and more and more. That's for sure. Okay, now we talked about the gold market. We talked about the uh, the crude oil market, and there was one other I wanted to talk to you about. And that is the euro market. Here was one. We had a really nice setup in the euro yesterday. Uh, we, I think we talked about this on the air. I, I, we talk about so much stuff, I can't even remember. But you'll see we had the big ABCDs down there. You'll see that the uh, level we were looking at was just under 129. We're up in the 133s right now. So it started to work. Uh, we have our... Uh, stop placed at uh, so we definitely lock in a little bit of a profit you can see that red line over there on the far right there that's where we put our stop to make sure that we're looking at it the art of war one of my very favorite books i have that book in about four or five different languages it was rich it was originally in chinese but it's been reproduced in many languages uh, bobby knight the coach of the indiana hoosiers that was on his desk all the time uh, Nor Starman Norman's Schwarzkopf. It was on his desk all the time. It is absolute must reading at the military academies. All of them. That is an absolute must. The Art of War. Very good by Sun Tzu. It's a really great, uh, really great, really great book. And one of the most favorite quotes in my book is, "Don't ever, ever prevent your enemy from making a mistake." Yeah, so that's a good thing to uh, it's a good thing to remember. So I think because mistakes are what kills you, folks. The first mistake teaches, the second mistake kills, and that's the one that you have to watch uh, the most. Now, Bo Bo is asking a question that there's a possibility. Let's just get this up here because he 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 makes a good point here on the Nike. Let me get it here, and this is all part of thinking through a trade. So here here's here's what Bo was saying here is that we've got a, a real battle ground set up now between 139 and 149 in Nike. Now, if we can pop above that 150 level, this means that for a whole three and a half weeks there, there was a lot of accumulation in Nike at that point, and so the market could continue to go higher. But by the same token, if it goes back and rolls back below 139 again, that battle has been won by the bears, and it could go even lower. So those are some of the things that we're, you know, looking at here this morning. So just uh, keep in mind, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. Now, I want to get back to, uh, we're going to talk about the Treasury bonds now and the Treasury notes. Basil spent a great deal of time on that. You can see here that these, this market, it doesn't have any friends, folks. Uh, you know, we're, we're below the 1.61 expansion of that whole move there, uh, the Treasury, uh, the TYT, uh, TLT broke into new low grounds today. There, uh, on this particular, uh, these particular charts, folks, I'm not seeing anything that gives us anything of any reason to possibly be getting ready to look at the notes. And, and I, I know there's one there, and I, want to, I wanted to bring it to your attention here because it's uh, – it's right here somewhere. If I can just find that puppy, just give me a second here. It's got to be right here. And... Oh, come on now, there. Where are the T bonds and T notes? And there's the T notes are right here. And we're going to take a look at it right now. Let's get this up here. Here is the A, B, C, D on the T notes. We've been looking at this for a long time. Can someone tell me right now how low have we been in the Treasury notes? Have we made 125.04 in the Treasury notes? Because that's the A, B, C, D on the weekly. That's the only thing that would make this thing hold up. Now, we know we've got the Fed in there. Everybody knows there's going to be at least 7 to 22 rate increases. 125, 125.18 uh, has been the low, okay, and 125.05 is the number. So we're getting close. So it's going to be interesting to see what the Fed does. But this is a major ABCD 
in the uh, Treasury notes. Now, we, we're looking at potential of 129 in the Treasury bonds. So that's uh, it's going to be really interesting here. So write that down, folks. That's a long-term weekly number, 125.05. And uh, we'll see if that's going to hold it. Everything else has not held it, but that ABCD is there. And uh, it's sh shouting, take a look at me. So guess what? With the Fed out there tomorrow, uh, you know they're going to raise rates. I mean, a third grader could figure that out. Not only that, but the, the Putin has relieved any selling pressure. So they've got every reasonable reason to, to raise the rates. And raising the rates doesn't hurt the stock market. It helps the banks. And what do the banks have? The banks have the money. 877-927-6648. Stay tuned for Stan the Man Harley. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. Stan, welcome back to the show. You want to tell the folks uh, what you're looking at in this quiet, non-volatile market. <laughs> Hi, Larry. I'm doing just awesome. Uh, brought a couple of charts today to share uh, with the viewers. Uh, the first one is a chart of the Dow Jones Industrials. And uh, as, as one can see on the Dow chart, we made a high on, uh, on the 4th of January and sold off very steeply 
making a, a, a low on January the 24th. And now we're kind of chopping around mid-range. Um, I view what's going on right now is a consolidation phase. I am reminded a lot of the time period uh, in the first quarter of 2018, four years ago. In that year, you may recall, the market made a steep rise into a January high. Uh, it sold off for a couple of weeks very sharply. And, uh, and then it chopped sideways for the next couple of months, ultimately making a couple of more cycle bottoms. But the terminal cycle bottom was in, uh, in early May. That was the, what I call the 34 week cycle bottom. And from, from there, the market pushed higher. My gosh, the, the present uh, chart pattern looks remarkably similar to that first quarter of uh, January 20 of 18. We had a January high. We sold off for a couple of weeks into the January 24th low. And then we are etching out a sideways structure, which I think will ultimately uh, terminate uh, in early April, producing the next 34-week cycle bottom. I have done, through an iterative process, I found some Fibonacci counts that seem to line up reasonably well with some highs and lows, and that's what I've done here in the next chart um, to, uh, to show the viewers. Okay. This, this second chart is the S&P 500. And like the Dow, we made a high back on the 4th of January. We show, sold off very sharply, making a low on January 24th. And what I have done here is I have added Fibonacci numbers to that January 24th low. That corresponds roughly with the February 9th low we saw back in 2018. And the pattern appears to be very, very similar. If we count forward in time 21 trading days from January 24th, we get to approximately February 22nd, 23rd. Uh, and I think we're gonna make a high there, that's next week. And that will probably be the high of the trading range for the next couple of months. Uh, then I see us chopping down lower, make, making a, a series of two more lows, one in the middle of the March, in the middle of March, approximately the 14th, you know, give or take a day or two or three left or right of these numbers. That would be approximately 34 Fibonacci days from that January 24th low. And then we'd get a very short rally out of there and then a, another low, uh, somewhere in the vicinity of the April 12th time period. That would correspond to approximately 55 trading days from the January 24th low. Uh, we could possibly see a few stocks go to lower lows, but I think the, the spike low, or what I call a price shock, that occurred back on the 24th of Jan was probably the low for most stocks. That's what happened in 2018. Um, the next two lows were slightly higher, bases the Dow and the S&P. I think we're gonna essentially do the same thing. And then uh, late uh, in the spring, I think you're gonna see the market back, uh, right back in new high territory. Uh, the secular bull market ain't over yet, in my judgment. It's, we still have more to go. Okay, boy, that's that's pretty pretty much spot on. My goodness, I like I like the timing sequences that you show here. This is very interesting because when you add some uh, just simple ratios to it, it gives you some pretty good support and resistance levels, doesn't it? It it it, it does indeed. Although the the charts are more focused on the timing aspect. Sure, um, sure. I, yeah, in, in terms of price, I think we are range bound between the January early January highs and the late January lows, and I think. It's going to prove frustrating for both the bulls and the bears. The bulls, of course, want to drive prices higher. The bears want to see a crash. I think they're both going to be frustrated here. I think it's a choppy trading range. But ultimately, trading ranges uh, break out either to the upside or the downside. I see this as a high-level consolidation with the ultimate resolution pushing northbound. Okay. Um, Stan, could you by any chance, they're, they're asking in the room if you could refresh the uh, the second chart, the SPX chart that you have up there. For some reason, uh, it's got a, a blur in it or something, and I, I can't see it, of course, but if you would uh, be so kind as to refresh that S&P chart if you can. Okay, I'd be SPX. delighted. Uh, does that I think work better? 
I think that's that's there. We're spot on now. We've got everything we needed to know. We can see everything perfectly, and I think that's great. Listen, I know you're really swamped because you've had a little holiday here, and you're catching up with your work. So thanks for joining us today. We'll have you on again in a few weeks, if you don't mind, because we have a lot of fr- fans here for the Harley Stock Market Letter, and we would like to hear from you often as possible. Well, thank you, Larry. My pleasure. Okay, thank you very much. Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter, folks. We'll have him back again in a few weeks, and we'll be watching these dates very, very closely. He's uh, he's done a great job. He's been on the top of that t- timer digest list for a long time. I no long it's no longer in business, but it's still an important factor in the people that watch what the market's doing because they do a great job of tracking the people that are doing you know really great things. Let's move on here. To uh, one other thing that I wanted to make, we've talked about the bonds, we've talked about the notes, folks. This is really critical here. You're talking about a market here that we that we posted here in the Treasury notes. This is the largest of all the commodity. The open interest in this puppy is about 1.4. Uh, I know the euro dollar, uh, the dollars, you know, trading abroad. That's a much larger market, but you know that only trades, you know. It, it hardly trades at all. It just moves like a, like an ocean. I mean, there's there's no there's no movement to it because there's so much out there. But the the notes are really a big market, folks. It's three times, you know, what the treasury bonds are, and yet most of us trade the bonds because they're more volatile. But this is going to be really interesting. The fact that we're getting really close to that 125 level on the weekly. So I I'd be really surprised. Uh, you know, they they could raise rates, and you could see a real rally in these things just by a counter trend rally. You know, that is uh, that is too small. Well, unfortunately, I've got these things changed the way they're supposed to be, and there's nothing else that I can do about that. I wish there was, but there isn't. So let's move on to another one. I covered the gold. I haven't covered silver as of yet. I wanted to get it up here uh, to show you. I, I think this will be the right size. If it isn't, I apologize, but there's nothing I can do about it right now. As you can see, we had a slightly higher high yesterday in the silver this was the overnight silver folks where we took out the high by about four cents and that was right around 2403 per ounce and then we broke uh, almost a dollar an ounce we have broken a dollar an ounce uh, from that level because the gold has sold off more than uh, I think it's more just around fifty dollars right around that level right now uh, it's important that the the gold stays above that I think I can show it in that chart here. Uh, because I I planned on doing that, and I'm sure I did. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. Yep, I did. There it is. There, get, I want to get this gold chart back up to show you again. Um, the old highs back there, you see at 1838. And then we backed off to that uh, 1812 level. Watch that 1838 level, folks. The reason why, and I'll give you that reason why when we get back. 877. 877- Nine two seven six six four eight. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted that gold chart. Uh, the reason why it's important, if you look at that, those old highs that were made back there a few weeks ago in 1838 before we backed off, $22. And then, of course, we had the, uh, the thing going on in Ukraine that caused the thing to run the last 50, 60 bucks. And we had that big high last night. The reason why that 1838 is important, if we close below 1838, folks, that means they've trapped a whole lot of people on this. And believe me, there has not been an increase in open interest, dramatic increase in gold during these last few days. Same thing with silver. Neither one of them had been, had increases. That's telling us that there's not a lot of uh, not a lot of what we call uh, quality. Well, there is no buying. It's just short covering. That's what it is. At least that's what it used to be when I started doing this years ago. Now, by the same token, if you look at the Treasury bonds and Treasury notes, the Treasury notes, the open interest is dropping as it's going lower. That means that, uh, you know, shorts are, are leaving the market and it's making it susceptible for a good rally. So we need to watch that Treasury note really closely tomorrow, especially with the Fed out there. I'm going to be buying the notes down there at 125.05 tomorrow with about a 10 tick stop. And uh, that's about all you can do. It might, you know, it might be a little early, it might be a little late, but that, that's my game plan, and I'm sticking to it. These numbers have led me to the promised land, and sometimes the promises are not where you want them to land, but it's got me this far, and I think it'll take me the rest of the way for sure. Folks, try to go after the, you know, you don't have to try to pick tops and bottoms and stuff like that. I mean, go after the real easy trades. This was an easy trade here in the euro. This is the the actively most actively traded thing in the whole world. It's sitting down there at 129, just a little below 129, and you can buy it there, you know, and there's so many, it's a trillion dollar market, folks. I mean, it's bigger than stocks and bonds. So, you know, combined. <laughs> so it's uh, it's a pretty easy one to get into. So if you want to learn how to trade, you know, start learning by using the euro. That's the one that's by far the best one, you know, for doing it. And and remember, when we when we work on these things, remember we talk about ABCDs, you know, with the with the Thunderbolt pattern and stuff. Remember that Thunderbolt pattern comes from Benoit Mandelbrot, but it also comes from a dude that lived in 653 uh, B.C., folks, Pythagoras, the smartest man ever to walk the planet, as per the words of, of uh, Albert Einstein. He said there was God and there was man, and in between was Pythagoras. He was the first man ever to use the square roots of numbers, okay? And he was the first man to tell you that the earth, well, there were others too, but not many people believed him, that the earth was round, it wasn't flat.
and that he knew the distance between the moon and the earth was 250,000 uh, miles plus you know, he knew so much. he knew the speed of light by calculating that hypotenuse triangle i mean it's it's incredible what the man knew but uh, that's neither here nor there what we try to do is to keep it simple look for little a b c d patterns and when you find those those are the ones that will give you the advantage that you need because when you get to that d point that's telling you that something is getting ready to happen. Does it always happen? Of course not. It only happens about, you know, two out of three times at the most. Well, sometimes you'll be on a streak. It'll be it'll be longer than that. But if you just look for them, you know, you're going to find them, and it just takes a little practice to do it. So don't give up. That's all I can tell you. You certainly want to be able to be able to do that. Now, someone's asked a question about the chart that I posted a long time ago about the COVID and the possibility we might be doing this, folks. We are now. We I thought you'll see back there on the ninth. I thought that was going to be a four day rally. Is what I thought it was going to be. That was back in two thousand. Okay. Now we have gone out. And we went eight days. If you remember, we were out eight days when we got to that number 38 days that Peter Elitis pointed from the high down to that low was 38 trading days. All, all those years had it, 29, 87, and also ours. Now, if we go above that number, which is 80, 40, uh, 45 uh, and change, 45 uh, 4585. That that's that means uh, Mr. Uh, Stan Harley is going to be flat out right. We're going to see new highs in stocks, and uh, you know, but that that's going to be a little ways down the road. But if that does happen, it certainly can happen. So you've got to you know tell this is an important day because we're having this emotionalism coming right out of the market, and uh, everybody's talking about it in the news. You know, there's people you know saying it's not over. Some people are saying it's over. You know, the people in Kiev think it's over, but uh, I don't think they're the ones that are going to be, you know, measuring those uh, those waves and stuff. So remind ourselves that that's what we're going to be paying very, very close attention to here as we look at some of these things unfolding. We got the S&P trading at uh, 4460. It's got to go up uh, just about 100 handles to get to that level, and it might make it today. Who knows? It's, it's still early in the day. We still got four hours left of trading, and you know we can certainly do that uh, without too much uh, difference. Now, the one market that I haven't covered and I need to is a natural gas, but I've been so busy with the other stuff that's going on with the currencies and the bonds and the you know the S and P, the Nasdaq, the gold, and all the other stuff. I haven't really had a chance to look at that natural gas today, but I I will. Uh, on tomorrow's show. Tomorrow's show, we're going to have Jim Bartoleone will be our guest. And uh, being the old F-18 pilot, the old Navy pilot that he was, he's got some great stuff from Bart's charts that is really fun to look at. So let's, uh, let's keep in mind that that's it. Those of you that are listening uh, from the UK or over in Europe, I'm going to be in Europe on the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd of uh, of April this year, and oh, that's April Fool's Day, eh? and, and who knows what's going to be happening then. Uh, COVID, COVID, uh, what do you say? COVID uh, is going to be determined whether we make it or not, but we're going to have a big seminar there. We're going to do live trading for 12 hours. Tom Hugard and I are going to live trade on Friday. Then we're going to have a teaching seminar on Saturday and Sunday. It's three days, and we're going to have David Paul, myself, Al Brooks, and David Paul. All five of us are going to be there, and we're going to have a pretty big venue uh, we've got a lot of people already signed up for it and uh so it'll be it'll be a lot of fun that'll be held in london and uh, so we'll we'll look forward to that which is they're all whenever you do live trading with tom hugard folks it's a real hoot it's like being in the audience with uh, johnny carson or jack benny somebody like that because not only is he a super a uh, nice guy, a devil make care type good guy, as I always call him. But he's very, very uh, not as humble as he used to be, of course. But he's still very humble, and he does a great job at what he does. In fact, all the guys there are a lot of fun to do. So well, that'll be on April first, second, and third over in the UK. If you have any interest, just let me know, and I'll uh, forward the information on for you. Okay. Now I wanted to uh, uh, mention one other market that. Uh, but we've covered crude oil, gold, silver, uh, the natural gas. I'm not able to do that. Another one that uh, we really need to pay close attention to is that U.S. dollar, i.e. through the euro. The euro is acting pretty nicely from a major bottom down there, that three drive to a bottom pattern. How high will it go? You know, 
this is the sixty-four dollar question. Someone asked me, uh, "How do you determine? You know, where do you where do you where do you take your profit on something, folks? It's related to how much money you have to risk." You know that that's that's the whole key to what we're doing here. That's why that three eight two pattern is so good because your risk is so small. Now many times the market's going to go down and it's going to go right back up again and take it out. But you know what your risk is is that point. Look at this one in the hogs. Here's a perfect example of one that worked for a while. It worked for your see if you're if you're selling at one oh three seventy five and you drop five hundred dollars, you know, you gotta take some profit. You gotta lower your stop to at least lock in a hundred dollar profit in this thing because you see it went right back above it and then you would have had a loss. That's not any fun. Skills as Let's an take investor a break is like here, getting boys. better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, uh, someone's asked me a question. Uh, where would I surrender about being bearish on the stock market? <laughs> I surrender every 15 or 20 minutes, boys and girls. No, it's it's quite simple for me. It, if we get above, we take that 61% retracement out up there at 4580, it's time for Walter and I to get out into the desert and uh, start building that last little uh, bivouac known as the final resting place. <laughs> That's how strongly I feel about it. This is uh, what we're seeing now. Is I've seen this emotionalism many, many times before, and I'll see it again, I'm sure. But I was surprised the stock market's not up at least a 1,000 points in the Dow. I mean, back in the days when the market was going up, hell, we used to run 900 points for no reason at all. This was a heck of a reason. So uh, the fact that the Fed is out there tomorrow, it's coming in right at the time when that note is making a major ABCD pattern, I wouldn't be short these notes and bonds tomorrow into that thing no matter what. I don't care how much you're going to raise them, if they are. 
It's just a very, very oversold market, and open interest is dropping, and that means that there's not a lot of shorts, new shorts in there for sure. So uh, you got to be very, very careful. But again, that's my two cents worth. We'll look at it again tomorrow. Uh, I don't know when the Fed comes in. I think it's Wednesday or Thursday, Thursday, Friday, whatever it happens to be. I will double check that. But that's a real important number we're watching here in that the bonds have broken down below it. But remember, the, the number on the bonds we're looking at, the corresponding number is 129 in the bonds. And we're trading at 150 and change, 151. So, uh, you know, it's a long way to go there. But in the notes, which is the larger number, that number is 124.05. We've been what 125.05 last we saw was 125.18 so i'll be buying at 125.06 and i'll risk about 10 ticks about 300 bucks is all i'm going to risk because if it gets a little squirrely i don't want to play with the squirrels with those kind of nuts so that's it so anyway where we paying close attention to that as we go through here and uh, we'll do one thing at a time um Tomorrow's guest will be Jim Bartolioni, as I mentioned, of uh, Bart's Charts. Be sure to listen in because he always has some really great stuff. He looks at a lot of fun stuff. See you on the flip side tomorrow, boys and girls. May God bless. Mm -hmm.